Hydrogen cars only need to fill with hydrogen at the pump and the only emission from the exhaust is H2O, what you probably know as water. Because hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, it is unlikely to run out like gasoline or diesel. Hydrogen cars are rare now, but that may change in the future. As more appear on the roads, you'll want to know more about them, so you can compare them to a future electric car. After all, from 2025 in the UK, you will not be able to buy a new car that does not have an electric motor. Hydrogen cars, also known as hydrogen fuel cell cars, are a type of passenger vehicle that separates from electric cars. Hydrogen powered cars are more similar to electric cars in the fact that they have no internal combustion engine. Here is everything you need to know about hydrogen cars and whether they are better than electric cars. A hydrogen fuel cell car has a hydrogen tank that feeds a fuel cell with high pressure hydrogen gas that mixes with oxygen. This mix starts the electrochemical reaction that produces electricity to power the electric motor. This means hydrogen cars have characteristics of both electric cars due to the use of electric energy and motor and conventional petrol cars because of the tank. However, they represent a unique share of the transportation market and they're also called FCVs, fuel cell vehicles, or FCEVs, fuel cell electric vehicles. Fuel cells are the main component of hydrogen powered cars. Think of them as the maestro of all the processes happening inside the car so it has the energy to move. Long story short, fuel cells turn the stored hydrogen gas, by mixing it with oxygen, into electricity. This electricity is then used to power an electric motor to propel the vehicle without any toxic tailpipe emissions. In fact, the only byproduct of the whole process is water and heat due to the connection of hydrogen and oxygen atoms that form H2O molecules. On the other hand, electric vehicles, EVs, are powered by electric motors that pull current from a rechargeable battery or other portable sources of electricity. Once they are moving, there's no chemical reaction either, only an electric one, thanks to the power batteries that it was previously charged with. But which one is more ecological and sustainable, electric cars or hydrogen cars? Before drawing into final conclusions, let's first take a look at the essential characteristics of each type of vehicle. Talking about the driving range of hydrogen and electric cars, the Hyundai Nexo, hydrogen powered, can travel around 350 miles or 550 kilometers, which is around the same as the electric Tesla Model S, the best of its kind. Nonetheless, it's hard to tell the driving range of these cars accurately. It depends on several metrics, such as the number of passengers that the car is taking, if the air conditioner is on or off, whether the car is on a high road or stuck in city centre traffic and the type of vehicle itself. This is why different people have been reporting different experiences due to their unique mix of all these variables. However, as hydrogen cars densely pack their energy storage, they can usually achieve longer distance. While most fully electric vehicles can travel between 100 to 200 miles on a single charge, hydrogen ones can get to 300 miles. Moving on to the refueling and recharging time of the cars mentioned, the amount of time it takes to pump hydrogen into the tank is way more interesting. Five to 10 minutes, just like any petrol car, than the one from electric cars. While Tesla's fast chargers with 120 kilowatts give batteries 80% of power in half an hour, the BMW i3 or the Nissan Leaf can take around four to eight hours respectively to get fully charged. In the end, the time electric cars take to power depends obviously on the charging station and the type of charging connector. But whatever the combination is, and even with Tesla's most recent V3 supercharger that is still in beta testing in San Francisco, this is a clear win for the hydrogen car, all because of the one kilogram of hydrogen storing 236 times more energy than one kilogram of lithium ion batteries. Cars with hydrogen fuel cells instead of the typical lithium ion batteries from electric cars offer an alternative value proposition that seems to get rid of the problem of the end of the lithium battery's life cycle. This is a plus, as for now, at a time when there's still some uncertainty about the future of these batteries, once they no longer serve their main purpose. They're hard to recycle, and some projects are being developed to reuse them as backup generators in urban buildings like hospitals. 
as well, driving without any pollution emissions with the plus of being able to quickly refuel in 5 to 10 minutes compared to the best case scenario of 40 minute charging or the most common scenario of 3 to 6 hour charging in electric cars is an unquestionable win for the hydrogen mobility movement too. Although hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, it doesn't exist in its pure form in the blue planet. This means that if we wish to use it as fuel for our cars, we need to produce it from other compounds like water, natural gas, other fossil fuels or biomass. And for this, energy needs to be used and environmental and economic costs enter the equation. On the other hand, we can clearly get hydrogen by reversing the electrolysis process of water. The problem is that this process of separating H2O molecules to get hydrogen spends a high amount of energy, making it a costly process. However, suppose this energy is able to come from renewable energy sources, like the sun or the wind. In that case, the net energy cycle can get very carbon low and the process turns more environmentally friendly. Let's talk about one of the main experts of a vehicle now, safety. The need to keep hydrogen under pressure requires vehicles to be equipped with advanced safety devices. Manufacturers, therefore, use very high quality materials to ensure the gas circulates safely. Emergency dihydrogen purge circuits and protective components prevent shocks or potential leaks from causing accidents. The Renault utility vehicle, for example, have a system that dilutes and dispenses hydrogen in under a minute an additional safety guarantee for these models classified zero risk according to the European regulation CEN 79-2009. You can feel just as confident as in a combustion powered hybrid or battery electric vehicle. In this era of following the trend, will you like to buy a hydrogen car or does the electric car suit you the best? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.